1884, 26 countries met at the Meridian Conference in Washington to decide on a prime meridian. London Greenwich Mean Time was chosen as a prime meridian, and since then, the majority of the world follows this agreement. There are some very strange exceptions that I will show you in this video. Let's start with China. China has only one time zone called Beijing Time or China Standard Time and is 8 hours ahead of London. This is despite geographically covering 5 time zones as China is a very wide country. In this northeastern province called Xinjiang, they use an unofficial time that is 2 hours behind on the China Standard Time. Up next, let's take a look at Europe where the UK and Portugal are exactly on the Greenwich Mean Time, but Spain, for instance, has decided to have the same time zone as the rest of Western Europe. Also, the Balkan countries adjusted a little bit to align with Western and Central Europe. This is all because it's much easier to trade with the other countries. This map right here shows what it should actually be. Let's continue with Argentina. This South American country uses the GMT-3 time zone where the majority of the country actually lies in GMT-4 and a small part even in GMT-5. The majority of the population lives in the eastern part of the country and that's why they chose this time zone. For the neighbors Chile, it makes it a lot of sense for them to be on the same clock as Argentina, even though Chile should be on GMT-5. And this means that at the tri-point between Chile, Peru and Bolivia, there's different time zones on every side of the border. Also on GMT-3 is Greenland, but this one is special. Greenland is a very large country and for the vast majority it uses the same time zone of GMT-3. Except for these little areas in the east. On a map this looks very inconvenient, but this area is Denmarkshaven and it's just a weather station and Skorsbysund is a settlement with approximately 150 inhabitants. In fact, outside of the capital Nuuk, almost nobody else lives in these areas, so to be honest, it doesn't really matter. Up until now, we have seen a lot of countries adjust their time zones to cooperate with their neighbors, but Malaysia didn't think so. Mainland Malaysia actually lies in GMT plus 7, which is also used by all of its neighbors in the north and the south, but they use one time zone later of GMT plus 8, which is the correct time zone for the part that's on the island of Borneo creating this weird shape on the time zone map. From now on it gets weirder. Some countries use half hour time zones. Australia for instance has GMT plus 8, plus 9.5 and, and plus 10. Iran runs on GMT plus 3.5. India uses GMT plus 5.5 and, and North Korea has GMT plus 8.5. This happens mostly if there is a situation where they can't decide which side they want to take, so they stick it right in the middle. But it does get crazier. And for this, let's zoom in on Nepal. This Asian country is pinched between India and China, which is already quite a difference in time zone. And in Nepal, they use their very own time zone of GMT plus five and three quarters. And they use it for this entire country. And this is because their capital, Kathmandu, lies at five hours and 41 minutes exactly. So this comes closest. And if all of this doesn't make things difficult enough, we haven't even spoken about daylight saving time zones. Which means that some countries, or in some cases even some states, adjust their clocks in summer to have longer days. And this causes a lot of additional differences in different periods of the year. You have now seen that cities or countries that are on the same longitude don't always have the same time zone. And in many cases it's even hard to believe that these cities are on the same longitude. So go and surprise yourself with this video right here. 